Yo. Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So today we will be creating a loading animation, something similar to this one right here. Now this was created by one of the members of the Synfig community. Um, I'll post the link in the description below so that you can take a look at it. Now we won't be creating anything as awesome as this, but we will be coming pretty close, okay? So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to the circle tool and inside of the, the layer type, you want to select the advanced layer option right here. Okay, the advanced outline layer. So I'm just going to go and draw my circle and I'm going to change the width to, I'm going to just make it a bit thicker. So I'm going to go to outline width in the properties. I'm going to put that to about, let's say 35. Okay, and that is okay to me. Let me just move it down a bit. Um, all right, so the next step is to add the the, the disconnect, the, the cutout area um, between here and here, all right? Um, so to do that, I'm gonna select the, the, uh, the toggle width handles button here, all right? And uh, if you've been following my tutorials, you know that those actually toggle the handles here. So you'll see them here. Um, so what you want to do is right click on the point on any one of these. Well, let's use this one first. And I think I'm going to go for cusp after flat rounded. So cusp after rounded. All right. No, that's not the one I want. I want the one before. So I'm going to go to cusp before rounded so cusp let's look for that one before rounded here so what that does is it creates a rounded piece at the point right here and we're going to go to this one and let me see cusp uh, before flat okay no so we know that we, are, we need to go to the cusp after flat so cusp after flat so after, well, after this point right here, it cuts it out and made this area flat, okay? So now we have something like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this up a bit by clicking, left clicking and dragging, like so. All right, so now we have our circle created, our, our well, our loading circle. Um, so if you notice in this one, it has a gradient. Uh, to create a gradient, we can just simply use the gradient tool. So let me go ahead and draw a gradient. Uh, let me move it above the layer here. And I'm gonna put both of these in a group, like so. And then I'm gonna go inside that group and I'm gonna place the gradient onto the object here, okay? And I'm just gonna rotate the handles, so I'm gonna make this area right here darker and then this area lighter with this color there all right so now we have that and also to get the faded area here um one way that you can do this is go to the using the rectangle tool make sure that you have the region layer selected layer type let's draw your rectangle here and i'm going to change this well i'm going to add a gradient to this as well so just go in and add a gradient and of course put these in a group and I'm gonna go to the gradient layer and I'm gonna put this onto that object there and what what you want to do is in the gradient properties you want to change one of the colors to white um, so but make sure that you have this same color also selected which we already have it here so I'm gonna change this one to white all right so click on the swatch here and just bring it all the way to white and close and I'm just going to move this up until we see it begins to fade. I'm going to move this down like so. Okay and I'm just going to move this over onto our object here and I'm going to rotate it like so and move it over and of course, we're gonna place this onto the circle area right here. So, I'm gonna select the both of these, 
put them in a group. And then I'm gonna put this onto the circle layer there. So now we're, we're getting something like this, right? I'm just gonna move this down a bit until we start seeing the faded area come in like so. And I'm also going to alter the gradient a bit. So maybe come in and move this over a bit. Close. All right, it, you can see that it looks a bit cut off here. So I'm just trying to alter the gradient to make it look seamless. And there, it looks like they're both one and not two separate objects, okay? So that is pretty good. All right, so we have our circle. Uh, now we want to prepare it for animation. All right, so what you want to do, okay, is the, the overall group right here, you wanna make sure that the its origin point lines up with the origin point of the circle here. All right, and one quick and easy way to do that is select the, and this is a new technique by the way. So, well not new, but new to, to the videos. So you wanna select the circle layer and you wanna hold on control and select the group layer that um, you want to control the entire circle. And notice that both of their origin points are in different location, right? So one quick and easy way to bring them together is to select here and let's say just type 50 and it will move them into the same position. But if you notice, um, our gradient is left out, right? Th this layer right here is left out, but no biggie. We can just move this back into place like so. Okay. Because all it is is a shape that we put onto it to get that faded effect. All right, so let's get to animating. So now that this is in the same position as the um, circle, let's use this to animate. So I'm going to go to my keyframes, keyframes properties. I'm going to remove that initial keyframe and turn on animate. And let's see at frame zero, we want to um, click on the rotate point here and in its properties where it says angle, you just want to change that to any value. And then I'm going to click it back and change it back to zero because we want to start at zero, right? And then I'm going to go to maybe frame 48, click on this again. And in the properties, I'm going to type minus 360 because we want it to rotate clockwise all the way around. Okay, so if I press enter and I scroll back and forward, we can see that it's animating clockwise, right? Uh, so let's play that and see how it looks. And that looks okay. Uh, we can make it a bit faster. Let me just close all my options here and just move this over a bit. I'm gonna move it here to frame 36. I'm gonna change the amount of frames to 35 and then turn on the loop option here and then press play. And there we have our loading circle. Now, of course, you can go in and customize this and make it look far better than what I have here. All right, so, um, well, let me actually do something different. Let me just duplicate this whole group right here. And I'm just going to scale it down like so. And for this one, I'm going to, let me bring back the amount of the 36 frames so I can see this keyframe here. And I'm just going to switch these. So what this will do is it will rotate, but it will rotate in the opposite direction from our initial um, circle. Move this down, move this over, and move this down, and change it back to 35. And the reason why I change it to 35, um, the, the animation lasts for 36 frames, right? But the 36th frame is the same as the first one here. So when it reaches 35, it will automatically go back to this one, which is the same as 36. 
So I cut it down to 35. So once it goes to the 35th frame, it goes back to this, which is the same thing as the 36th frame. All right. Um, so, and then that's how we get the perfect loop. And there you have it. All right. So yeah, quick and easy tutorial. And that's it for this one. And I will see you in the next video. Yo. Yeah.